Dear Grade 12 students, welcome back. Today we'll be tackling English 312, Unit 6, the topic comparing and com uh, contrasting writing. Before I proceed further, as usual, I would like to remind you or request you to please, uh, to please get your textbook, notebook or a paper, a pen or a pencil, and your dictionary in case you might need to refer to it and have yourselves comfortably seated. The objectives that we will be tackling today is, by the end of this lesson, you should have Identify the layout and structure of a comparison and contrast paragraph. Located specific information related to comparing and contrasting in a text. Written a paragraph comparing and contrasting topics, things, or people. What I want you to do now is in 30 seconds, I want you to, to choose a topic. Let's say fast food or mobile phones or technology. And I want you to compare and contrast. When I say compare and contrast, I mean think about the similarities and differences between a topic that you choose. Write me at least three similarities or differences about fast food. Let's say fast food and healthy food. Take 30 seconds, give me three each. Similarities, differences. Okay, let's see the definitions of comparing and contrast. Comparing, to compare means to discuss how two people, places, or things are similar. Example, both teachers and students need to work hard. So here are the similar things, whereas the contrast, to contrast means to discuss how two people, places, or things are different. Examples, unlike cars, bicycles do not create pollution. So here, you kind of say the things that are the same here that are the different, that are different. As easy as that. Okay, now what I want you to do is these topics. Tell me which of the following topics we can write, compare, contrast, or both. Decide whether the following phrases would be compare, contrast, or you can apply both to them. I'll give you 30 seconds. This is the answer. Actually, for any topic you choose, when you choose a topic and you say a large city, a small town, studying in a country or studying abroad, using cash or using credit card, the role, the role of a mother or the role of the father. When you keep a topic that you're, you're debating, you can use always comparing and contrasting for both. It's applicable for all. Okay, now, what is the structure that should be used? So when we say comparing, mostly the phrases that we say because they're similar, and both, also, to, neither, nor, similar to, same, as well as, like, and so on. Contrast is the opposite. So what do we use? More, less, than, adjectives with er, uh, but, while, though, not as, different, unlike, contrast, however, whereas, while, and so on. So here, we use all the words or the synonyms or the phrases that ensures that they're tackling the same point. It's a support. Here, the contrast, it's the opposite. Unlike, however, but, and so on. Now, a reminder. Now, what I want you to do is that in this text, I'll give you 30 seconds to read it. And there, I give you the reminder, the helping words. I want you to fill in accordingly. 30 seconds. Let me give you an example. Both. Because I'm comparing, I'm mentioning the similarities. Do the rest.
Well, I believe you're done. Let's read it all together. Both cell phones and computers will work without a power source. To access the internet on my laptop, I need to connect to a wireless signal. Similarly, my cell phone needs to connect to a network. I pay a monthly fees for both my cell phone and my internet fees. So as we can see in the simple text, I'm talking tackling both the cell phones and the computers, and I'm mentioning the things that I can do with both the cell phones and the computers. Now, the other way around. Contrast, the opposite the differences. Example, fill in the rest. I'll give you one minute to read and fill in the rest using the above mentioned phrases. Okay, I believe you're done. Let's check our answers together and read it together. The climate in the northern region of my country is very different from the weather in the southern region. In the north, there are four distant seasons, whereas in the south of the country, the seasons are not that different. The northern area has mountains and the temperatures in the winter are extremely cold. However, the south is much more flat and has warm to hot temperatures throughout the year. Heavy rains and high humidity in the summer are common in the south, but the south has more neat rainfall throughout the year and much lower humidity. So here, the difference is we were mentioning something and then the other is the opposite. So we used the above phrases. Now, if we're going to write a paragraph comparing and contrasting, how do we do it? There are two types. There is something called blocked organization, method one, and there is point-to-point -point organization. What do we mean by that? I'll give you 30 seconds. Just think about it generally. When I'm telling you that there are two types of writing, block, point by point, what do I exactly mean? The layout. Now we're going to tackle the layout. So when we say block organization, First, while writing about supporting points for the first topic, then compare or contrast those the same points to the second topic. Let me explain it in another way. What we mean is that we always start with an introduction. Okay, after the introduction, when we're talking about a block, it means that we will be mentioning the similarities first, all together, then the differences, all together, and then the conclusion plus my opinion. So the block organization, introduction, similarities, differences, conclusion plus opinion. Whereas the point by point, introduction, first point of the similarities, then the second point, that is a difference. The same point we're tackling, I'll first present similarity, difference, similarity, difference, point, point by point. And in the end, there will be conclusion plus the opinion. That is the main difference. Here, as paragraphs. So here I'll have a paragraph of introduction, a paragraph of similarity, a paragraph of differences, and then the conclusion. Whereas in the point by point, a paragraph of the introduction, similarities and differences merged. So I'll mention one, let's say plus one minus, and then the conclusion. But here I state them as points. Let's take it into practice. So for example, I want you to read this text in which it's talking about fast food and home cooked meals. That's the title. Now what I want you to do, I'll give you one minute to read it. 
it is a blocked organization style or method. One minute, read it. Okay, how about we read it all together and at the same time, let's see what each paragraph stands for. So the introduction. Many people like to eat fast food, but some of them don't like it. In the past, the majority of people used to eat at home because there weren't many restaurants and families used to prefer to cook at home. However, now we can see restaurants everywhere and mainly the fast food ones. In this essay, I am going to compare and contrast between cooking at home and eating fast food restaurants. The introduction and the opening statement is mentioned. Always remember writing a paragraph or writing an essay to have an opening statement. Let's move further. There are some similarities between the cooked food at restaurants and that at home. The first similarity is that both types of food are cooked whenever you want to eat it. Another similarity is that both of them are delicious to eat. And now, let's move to the differences. So what is this, the similarities? I stated it here, and I prepared you to move to the next paragraph. Although there are some similarities between fast food and home-cooked meals, there are also two major differences. The first difference is that home-cooked meals are healthier than the fast food meals. Another difference is that fast food can be cooked in a short time compared to that cooked at home. The differences. I mentioned here while moving the transition, I set differences, and again, I stated it here. Last but not least, all in all, the differences outweigh the similarities mainly when it comes to health. In my opinion, the home cooked food is better than fast food because it's healthy. Conclusion, and I also stated my opinion. So I summarized what the whole topic or the whole paragraph or the whole essay is about, and I added my opinion to it. Now this method is the blocked organization method. Let's see the other method. So this is point by point method. It's the same text, but I applied this method using it. Read it for one minute and let's see the difference. Okay, I believe, let's read it all together, time is up. Many people like to, like to eat fast food, but some of them don't like it. In the past, the majority of people used to eat at home because there weren't many restaurants and families, uh, there weren't many restaurants, and families used to prefer to cook at home. However, now we can see restaurants everywhere, and mainly the fast food ones. In this essay, I am going to compare and contrast between cooking at home and eating fast food at restaurants. Okay, so what do we notice? The introduction in both are the same. 
The change comes here. Let's read it. There are some similarities and differences between cooked food at fast food restaurants and that cooked at home. The first point is that both types of food are cooked whenever you want to eat it. But the home cooked meals are healthier than the fast food meals. Another point is that the fast food can be cooked and be ready in a short period of time. Unlike the home cooked food, which takes longer time and requires early preparations. In addition, fast food can be ordered and served at any time of the day, while the home cooked meal cannot be ready at any time as it takes long to, to get ready or to be ready. Okay, so what do we notice here? The similarities and differences. Why did we call it point by po point by point organization? Because if you look at this method, the red ones are the similarities, followed by the purple, which are the differences. So for example, when I said the first point is that both types of food are cooked whenever you want to eat it, that's true. Whenever you're hungry, you either order the fast food or you go and cook it. But the home cooked meals are healthier than the fast food meals. So what is the difference that if I actually cooked my own meal, it's healthier than the fast food, the difference. Whereas in the early paragraph, it was kept altogether the similarities followed by the differences. The conclusion, in general, the difference outweighed the similarities, mainly when it comes to health. In my opinion, the home cooked food is better than, is better than fast food because it's healthy. Conclusion plus opinion, it's exactly the same. So the main change tackles goes here, between if you're following the blocked organization paragraph and paragraph, whereas point to point, they're merged together. As simple as that. Now, what I want you to do is that I want you to write one or two paragraphs comparing or contrasting the use of mobile phones using one of the methods. Brainstorm, remember to use the transitions. Now, I said one or two paragraphs. If you're going to use the block organization, the introduction, two paragraphs, similarities, differences, then conclusion. If you're going to use point by point, you're gonna merge them, so it's going to be uh, introduction, the merged paragraph, and the conclusion. In both, after the conclusion, you can add your opinion if you like, okay? Whenever you write it in a similar way to the above, by that, we reach the end of our lesson. Thank you, see you soon.